Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, Finding Elizabeth. And sorry, there's a weird, I don't know, sunlight stream falling in here, but I'm just like not feeling the getting all set up for a video. So if you want a video today, this is what you're gonna have to deal with. So happy Memorial Day, everybody. It is Monday, May 30th, 2016. This is my week 111, I think. Post-op vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. Uh, hi. I'm not in the world's best mood, but I'm gonna do my video anyway, and I'm gonna admire my collarbones while I'm doing it, because yeah, mm. and have my iced tea. Anyway, my starting weight in January of 2014 was 402 pounds. My weight at surgery on April 14th, 2014 was 360.6 pounds. My weight last week was 203 pounds. My weight today was 200 pounds, so that's a 202 pound Loss since my highest weight and a three pound loss since last week. I like to track at this point my one year, how much I've lost in a year and in a month. So I've lost 20.8 pounds in the last year and I've lost 10 pounds in the last month. Obviously I was a little, um, I was up high on April 30th last year. That was the, or last month. That was the day before I went to um, Arkansas after I'd been gone for a week. So, as some of you know via Facebook, I got down as low as 198.6 this week on Friday. I got down to 199 on Thursday. So, that was like Wonderland. I never thought I would be in Wonderland at all. So, hey, I've been in it three times. And I guess there's a four coming up pretty soon. Um, yeah. I was 199 on Thursday. I was 198.6 on Friday. That was my lowest weight since surgery probably my lowest weight I mean I don't remember I was probably like in my early early 20s the last time I weighed um, 198 pounds so that immediately freaked me out <laughs> I don't know what that was about I mean I haven't been in a great mood this week mm. but it was like almost immediately and I post about this on Facebook and I want to thank everybody for their come here Cindy you want to say hi Cinnamon's walking in the background. I'm going sideways. Oh, hello, Cinnabon. Say hello to the people. Anyway, um, I got a lot of great comments on my post about this, and I'm sorry I haven't replied yet. I've sort of um, been hibernating this weekend. But I, um, I like weighed 198.6. I was excited about it. I texted my girls about it. I got in the car to go to LA for a meeting. I immediately started crying. I immediately stopped at Starbucks and got a blueberry scone, which was my thing from back in the day that I used to eat all the time. I didn't even want it. All I wanted was food. All I was doing was trying to keep myself from crying the whole way to LA in a meeting. Um, so I don't know what that was. I mean, that was just some weird kind of self self sabotage thing going on. And I Went to the store Friday on my way back from LA. I bought lots of foods that I don't um, normally eat, like a bag of chips, um, like little, at least I got little containers of ice cream, but it was obviously, I was, I don't know, I just sort of felt like I was punishing myself or something. I don't know for what, I don't know what that's about. I guess it's something to talk about in therapy, but I got a, I got a grip on it on Saturday, but really basically, I have not been I have not been in a good place people I did oh wait today's Monday right Saturday I was actually okay Saturday what did I do oh Saturday I went and got my hair done but I kept it long because everybody was giving me compliments about it being long but the colors better um, Saturday came back and did the because uh, I had to do um, we did the naked truth with uh, fat Kingsville which was fun did that and then I just decided I was gonna check out for the weekend uh, I basically <sighs> sorry I'm a little verklempt I basically did what I used to do which was except minus the food because I didn't really eat anything other than protein and not even much of that which was um, lay in bed and binge watch TV until this morning when I had to get up and um go do some stuff and I didn't even want to do that honestly
blah, I don't want to cry. I'm just not. Um, I don't know. I'm just not in a great place. It's the relationship stuff that's getting to me, and it's making me crazy because I don't know why I'm talking myself into being so upset about stuff. And, I mean, I was on my own for a very long time. <laughs> I mean, really, basically, for 15 years, with the exception of one boyfriend for like a year and a half. So why is this bothering me so much? I don't know. But it just is. So that's where I'm at this week. Um, what I did last week to lose that weight, which three pounds, that's pretty good in a week at 111 weeks out, was that I... Um, fuck. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> um, was 80 grams of protein, 64 ounces of water, and exercising. Um, I, exer I actually had set a goal of exercising four times a week. I did it three times. I walked two miles. Two days, I went to step class. One day, step class was actually really pretty fun, um, and I was shocked at how well I was able to do. However, it did set off some old fat girl behaviors in me. When people were coming up to me during the class saying, oh, you're doing so great. I felt like I was still the 350 pound, 350 pound person going to an exercise class. And people were trying to, um, I don't know, humor me into doing stuff. And then after I left, I realized, you know, actually, I did do a pretty good job for the first time of ever. Well, not ever, but of taking a step class in like 20 years. So that was fun. I joined the gym. Um, I think my trainer is going to get his stuff figured out so that I'll be able to go back to him. But I like doing the classes at the gym too. And I just have to fill my time. I mean, that's what I'm feeling now is like anytime I have downtime, I'm just really sad. And that sucks. <laughs> that's not where I want to be. And I don't want it to. Oh my God. Have I ever cried like this in a video before? I'm not sure. But I don't want that to fuck up everything. I mean, I've been really happy for a while, and I don't want to um, lose that and have it somehow end up into me spiraling into weight gain. So that's where I'm at this week. Hopefully I'll be at a happier place next week. And I don't know. I guess that's that. You guys, oh. You guys have a great weekend. I want to give a huge shout out to Lauren Dayton, uh, who had her plastics last week. It looks like she's doing great. She may actually be the one that convinces me I can actually do it if I don't remember that she's 20 years younger than me. Okay, you guys, have a good week, and I will see you next week. Oh, and I'll see you Sunday on The Naked Truth with Lindsay Broussard. Talk to you later. Bye.